Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching. My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. So it's been a while since we've had the opportunity to take a look at our good friends over at Game Rant, and an article that was published a couple of days ago. And this is by Cameron Swan. If you guys want to check out the article for yourself, as per usual, please check it out with the link in the description below and go over and give Cameron a nice comment in the article comment section. Thank you very much. This article states and is titled, A Bioshock 4 update is long overdue, which I can personally agree with, and I would say 99.9% .9 of the Bioshock community would agree with as well. So, let's take a look at what Cameron has to say within this article. So again, a Bioshock 4 update is long overdue. It's been a long, long time since any official Bioshock 4 news was announced, and it's about time that fans learned just a little bit more about the game. Which again, I wholeheartedly agree with. 2007 is widely considered to be one of the greatest years in gaming, and it's titles like the original Bioshock that give credence to that notion. Again, totally agree. 2007 was tremendous for gaming. A first-person shooter with a horror undertone, the first Bioshock was a huge critical hit upon its release, and rightfully so. I agree there as well. The game is an absolute masterpiece. With one of the most unique and immersive settings in all of gaming, along with some satisfying combat mechanics and a great story, Bioshock still holds up all these years later. Again, I can wholeheartedly agree with that. Even the graphics held up this entire time, and we're going back to past generations of consoles. So, yeah, it definitely holds up to this day still. But while players can return to the underwater world of Rapture whenever they'd like, it's not the same as experiencing a new Bioshock setting for the first time, hence why Bioshock 4 is so highly anticipated. That, and the fact it's been over 10 years now, or around 10 years, since we've had anything new in terms of the Bioshock realm, and that's coming from me. While some fans may have soured on Bioshock Infinite in recent years, and I've made this argument before personally that Infinite is the most polarizing game in the series, the whole series is still generally considered to be one of gaming's all-time greats, and it's only natural that another sequel would be on the way. But while Bioshock 4 is confirmed to be in development currently, that's about all fans know in an official capacity, and it's about time that Bioshock 4's developer gave fans an update. That would be very much appreciated, and this goes back to the past articles that I've covered, or past videos that I've made, where transparency with the community and the developers is a big key for making this game a success. So, we'll have to see what Cloud Chamber Studios does, hopefully, in the near future. Let's hop into the next part of the article, shall we? The next part of the article states that it's time for Bioshock 4 to break its radio silence, and I would wholeheartedly agree with that, and this is something I've been saying for a while as well. So, great minds think alike, and hopefully Cloud Chamber will hopefully give us something soon. Then again, I've been saying that for a couple of years now, so time will tell. All the way back at the start of December of 2019, 2K's official Twitter account posted a statement that announced the founding of a brand new development studio named Cloud Chamber. In this same tweet, 2K announced that Cloud Chamber would be the studio handling the next iteration of the Bioshock franchise, and that it would be in development for, quote, several years. It has now been almost four years since that statement was made, and Bioshock 4 is nowhere to be seen, and it also hasn't been heard anywhere, which is quite unfortunate. All we have to really go on are quote-unquote leaks, rumors, speculation, etc. Nothing official, and it's kind of a bummer, but hopefully we'll get something soon, and I feel like I've been saying that for a long time now. Anyways, that's besides the point. That December 2019 tweet is the first and only real piece of information 
2K or Cloud Chamber have given the Bioshock community about Bioshock 4, but that doesn't mean that fans have been left without nothing at all to go on. Over the course of the last few years, a good few leaks and rumors have started to crop up about Bioshock 4. The vast majority of these rumors agree that Bioshock 4 will be set in an Antarctic city that has a surface level and a level deep under the watery depths. Much like the rest of the series, Bioshock 4 will apparently revolve around class politics with its surface world being reserved for the wealthy while the poor reside in the depths below. And I feel that this could have a good dynamic and I also feel that if they didn't want to go that route, they can do a City of Ember type thing where the surface level is somewhat of the wealthy area whereas the underground city is everybody that would be considered poor or undesirables of that surface level city. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below. But while these leaks have been fairly substantial, they aren't official by any means, and fans can't rely on them alone for information about the game. Cloud Chamber needs to break its silence on Bioshock 4 soon, even if that announcement is something small like a title reveal, a cinematic trailer, or even just a statement discussing the current progress of the game's development. I wholeheartedly agree with this. Again, transparency between the developer and community is going to be key in a successful launch of Bioshock. Because if you really think about it, even though this is supposed to be somewhat of a sequel or continuation of the series with Cloud Chamber and this being its first Bioshock, this is almost like a reboot in a way because this is going to be the new era of Bioshock post Ken Levine. We'll see what happens. I'm very excited to see what happens, but I'm also at the same time reserved because I don't want to get my expectations extremely high. So as of now, I want to keep them low, which I think you guys should as well. At this point, any news at all would be very much appreciated. And again, I can agree with that. But at the same time, Cloud Chamber shouldn't feel like they need to rush Bioshock 4's development. And you also make a good point here in the article as well. I'm completely okay with them taking their time on the development cycle of this game. I want it to be an excellent experience and an excellent game. So if it takes time for them to produce this, I'm okay with it. Just reiterate that to us, the community that, hey, we're expecting it around this time period or we're this far into the game, your patience is very much appreciated. Something like that would go a long way with the community at this point in time. Creating a sequel to some of the most beloved games of all time is no easy task, especially for a brand new studio. Even if it's made of X, Firaxis, and International Studios or International Games veterans, According to the most recent Bioshock 4 leaks, Cloud Chamber is aiming for a 2024 release date, though it isn't prepared to put a concrete date on the game until it's certain it'll be high quality enough. And I honestly don't think it'll be a release date for next year, as we have not heard anything about it this year. So to try to generate hype in that short amount of time, I don't know if it'll be that successful. But then again, I'm not a marketing manager or I'm not an expertise in marketing at all, so that remains to be seen. At the end of the day, this is absolutely the right way to go. Cloud Chamber should take its time with Bioshock 4 and make sure that it lives up to the series' lofty legacy, even though it would be certainly nice to have some new and official information. And again, I can totally agree with that. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, I hope you enjoyed the insight of this article. Again, if you want to check it out for yourselves, the link will be down in the description. Go give the author a nice, kind comment on it. I would very much appreciate that. If you guys want to catch up on the most recent or past Bioshock 4 news, rumors, speculations, etc., about both the game and the movie, I'll leave a playlist link down in the description as well. That way you can sift through everything and maybe check up on some videos that you haven't seen in the past. 
Also, if you're new here and enjoy Bioshock content and want to see more or enjoy the video, would you kindly hit that like button and leave a comment down below as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, would you kindly consider subscribing and also hitting the notification bell and turning on all post notifications as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And finally, if you want to talk to me outside of YouTube, the best ways to do so are my social media accounts or my Discord server, the links to which will be down in the description below. Thank you all so very much for watching. A couple of videos will be popping up on screen here that I would highly recommend checking out if you have not done so already. And with that being said, take care, stay safe. Thank you all for watching today's video, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care, friends.